Brian Powell of Iron Far here with Martina Valmasoy before the 2023 Trail World Championships. How are you? I'm good. I'm feeling really excited to be here. First time for me in the national team. And uh, yeah, the, the course is exciting. I am really looking forward to, um, to start on Friday. Yeah. You say the first time on the national team, the first time on the trail running national team, correct? Because you yeah back yeah. in your schema or yeah yeah that's that's right yes i've been uh, i've been in the national team and actually last year i was um, supposed to go to thailand but then i had an injury like just r right before the the world championships uh but yeah i've been in the ski mountaineering national team for like 10 years yeah. so um, yeah just different kind of team yeah which is cool well one thing since we've known you for a long time but I haven't interviewed you uh what is your background with sports and with running yes so yeah i grew up in the mountains because i live in the dolomites i'm born and raised there and so when i was a child i grew up with nordic skiing and of course running in hiking in summer and then uh, like in the most recent years uh, the nordic skiing turned into ski mountaineering and then with that of course you have to train in summer and so i've been hiking running um uh riding my bike and uh in the last six seven years i've been working a lot a lot in the in this world of trail running uh but you know i've always had to be fit somehow to follow the runners i was taking pictures of and um and so yeah racing not much but try to do a few races a year uh as best as I could and in the past two years I, it became more of a thing I had more time to actually train for the races I wanted and so it got better let's say yeah I want to explore that I want to ask you so like last year you won Lava Dorado you won TDS this year you won Transvolcania like you did well before and you sort of mostly focused on shorter trail races yeah. and shorter ultras what's changed over the last two years I think uh, maybe like you know the COVID years were not so bad for me after all because I I was able to settle like a bit home and so not traveling much and just being able to actually build um, my fitness back and have like a rebuild the base and not just going back and forth from one race to another one it gave me like a, a really good uh, base fitness endurance let's say and then um, yeah i've been traveling a little less and so i could choose uh better my the races i wanted to do and so i was not just like okay i'm traveling here and there so maybe in between i put a race and uh yeah last year was really like the year the first year i was actually focusing on one race uh because I, as i discovered i like more and i perform better on longer distances i i said okay am i might just um I still like to do adventures, so I, I rode my bike at the Giro, and then after I turned that fin fitness into trail running um, shape, and uh, so then I did really well TDS, and, and I'm happy about that. Nice. So it maybe even like three changes. You've, yeah. The COVID years allowed you not to travel yeah. so much and rebuild your base. You have traveled less intentionally for yeah. work, because people don't realize how challenging it is to yeah. mix in training yeah, and it's difficult going to a lot of races to, to work yeah i and mean it's like it's different because you're still of course out in the trails but you you can't do what you have to do or like what you would like to do you still have to adapt your trainings and your schedule to other people and and of course you have to work so yeah. that's the the first thing you have to do and uh, and then it's always like what uh, the runners are experiencing with um, building up and tapering, uh, with uh, working uh, at races and trying to, to prepare for a race is it's kind of a mix of like trying not to lose fitness and tapering and recovering uh, from work more than from training. And it's just, it's just like, it's possible. It's just yeah, that it's, it's not, uh, doesn't work perfectly. No. Yeah. And on the long, longer races side of thing, is it both? you're enjoying it more or you're also better at it or is it i think i really like i am someone that 
loves to be outdoor and loves to be in the mountains. Uh, if I'm, I like to ride my bike long and staying in the mountains long. And so um, uh, ultras are allowing me to do so. And so like that, I, I'm like, okay, I'd rather do less races um, and uh, in order to be outside as much as I can, I know that's the, the best fit for me. <laughs> and not just in races, but yeah. the training is not, yeah. is not sharp and short. It's yeah, exactly. And so sometimes, yeah. yes, it can be, but it's just like, uh, I think it's, for me, it's way more important to like enjoy most of the, the time uh, I have to be outside and then uh, a race is like the cherry of the cake yeah it's like it doesn't have to i don't like to put so much pressure on one race i mean it's like okay i'm racing and but i have i have to be like fully there on race day and it means that uh, if i i'm struggling uh, maybe mid in the middle of a race but i still like look at how has been my journey to get to that race mm -hmm. and I I did what I wanted to do and uh, and uh, it was fun hard of course but uh, like if I followed what I was planning to on doing then it's like okay well I I put my head down and I work harder and eventually it will get better and if yeah. not it won't but it's okay it's just one day and then all the other days there's like there's a different story and it's uh, it's great I'm feeling really grateful and fortunate to be able to live this kind of life, so that's great. Yeah, and for here in Innsbruck, Dubai, you don't live so far away. How how close are you by, by car? Yeah, for me, it's like three hours yeah. by car, so it's pretty close. And um, and I I really love the course because it's uh, it feels like home. It's really s similar to where I used to train, and and the, like the mountains are similar. It, there's a lot of climbing, which is basically what i have at home there's not much <laughs> flat <laughs> so for me it's uh, it's good it's like um, hiking up with poles yeah and then uh, steep down is um roots uh, that's cool you like it that's yeah the, i yeah. like it i like it <laughs> i'm like you know i i can't complain about this world championship because I mean, they're hard, but it's what I like to do. And yeah. this specific kind of train, mountains. Yeah. Yeah. You're, this is in your wheelhouse. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, will you have friends and family come out as well? Yeah. Well, uh, some friends, sure. Mm -hmm. My mom and my dad, they will be like, uh, as always, they will be somewhere in the mountains. It's always a surprise. <laughs> I, like, I tell my mom where to go, but then eventually she's somewhere else. And uh, normally it's my mom up higher in the mountains and my dad <laughs> lower down because he has more sore knees. But uh, they are they're going to be out there, yes. That's fun. Uh, is it? I think it's personally cool about, you know, the, the World Championships in Austria, but yeah. you're from Italy and you're close, so is... Yeah, uh, Andreas Reiter. And we, I'll probably talk to Hannes Namberger from Germany, and yeah. some of the French team isn't even that far. So yeah, I mean, it's like lots of trail runners are coming from Europe, and like um, <laughs> some of the strongest one, uh, I'd say. And for us, it's cool because like last year, I think in, for Thailand, it was uh, um, an exotic experience for everyone because yeah. we are not so used to have trail runners from Thailand and. Mm -hmm. Uh, but like here, yeah, it's uh, middle of Europe. Um, personally, it's fun because I've never raced uh, here, uh, like in Austria or Germany. So it's also fun to dif to hear a different language, you know, cheering you on. Um, and um, and yeah, as I said, yeah, it's it's close, but still, it's like quite. I never. It's the first time I'm here in really? summer. So okay. yeah, right. yeah, because you know, sometimes it's like. Yeah, it's not too far, but it's also like, okay, you maybe go somewhere else or you stay close to home. So it's definitely a cool town and um, I'm really glad we got to experience some trails and uh, and I probably will come back here. Awesome. Well, enjoy the week, uh, weekend. Yes. Have a good race. Thank you. Thanks a lot.